Hello, my name is Joseph Wu, and I'm the chair of the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery here at Stanford University. I'm joined today by Dr. Michael Fishbein, who is the residency program director for our department. Yeah, I think one of the important things to highlight is uh, really how our department has grown over the last five to six years. Um, yeah, the clinical volume growth has really been incredible. Well, we've been very uh, fortunate to have recruited several new faculty members, all with uh, specific expertise in, in distinct subspecialty areas inside of cardiac and thoracic surgery. These faculty members have led a uh, significant increase in the overall clinical volume with um, a doubling or tripling in um, several different areas and this has afforded the residents a much uh, larger host of uh, cases on which to, to learn. The important thing is to go to a program like Stanford where there is really an expert in each of these areas. It's helpful to go to a place and see what you really fall in love with. You know, do you want to do minimally invasive mitral surgery or aortic surgery or transplant? Uh, but no matter what you're interested in, there is a leader here who can then serve as your mentor and help guide you throughout the residency as well as uh, to guide you in the lab and eventually to find a faculty position. One of the unique things at Stanford uh, is this academic enrichment time and you know I think Stanford really has a unique situation where many of our faculty run basic science labs. To really become a, a full-fledged academic surgeon you need to devote a few years of concentrated time to a scholarly pursuit. But we have the residents leave the uh, clinical environment, usually after the second or third clinical year, and spend two, sometimes three, or even more years in the laboratory focused on scientific and engineering problems. The uh, residents will usually lead the uh, projects serving as postdoctoral research fellowships. The department has committed to uh, supporting their research and our residents have also done an amazing job of publishing their work in very high impact factor journals. Hey everyone, my name is Perry Chai, I'm one of the interns here. Um, why I chose Stanford, I think there's multiple reasons, but it really boils down to the fact that it's, I thought, the best combination of history and new talent. And so what I mean by that is, you know, Stanford has an incredible legacy here in terms of cardiac surgery, but it also has a bunch of incredibly young attendings from different places, uh, bringing together a lot of different talents, and of course under the leadership of incredible people. That was really exciting for me, and in addition to that, the research here I thought was unparalleled to anywhere else I saw, and being interested in an academic career, that was really enticing to me. For me, the culture at Stanford really emphasized three different things. One, a tradition of excellence at every single level of the training program, starting from the staff to the nursing support to every level of resident and especially to the attendings. Two, a culture of innovation. Um, I found that one of the most exciting parts of being here is that the entire program is dedicated to pushing the boundaries of cardiothoracic surgery and bringing the future uh, of what cardiothoracic surgery will look like um, when we're attendings and when uh, our future generations of patients will need our care. And finally, it's an obsession with performance. Um, cardiothoracic surgery is a demanding specialty. Uh, it asks a lot of its trainees and its attendings and its patients even. And uh, I felt like every single member of the community here at Stanford respected that notion and really identified with that belief that you could be extraordinary with uh, extremely hard work. And being in that kind of environment was really inspirational for me as a medical student, spending that month here. And I can confirm to you now, three weeks into my intern year, that that absolutely is the case with the program. Um, and it's a real privilege to be here. One thing I'm looking forward to in this program is that um, we get to go to different hospitals to experience cardiac surgery and 
many different places. We spend a lot of time here at Stanford um, and Cheap Year is all here, um, which is great. Um, and we're very busy and we have lots of very um, great surgeons here, obviously. But then we also, during training, get to spend time at the VA and the Valley and Kaiser. Uh, these are all very different experiences. The first two years are comprised of 50% general surgery and 50% cardiothoracic surgery. In your intern year, you're mostly focused on uh, working on the floor um, and figuring out how to take care of patients. Second year uh, is a great experience in general surgery. You're uh, at the Valley Medical Center, which is our community hospital, running all the traumas, taking care of the ICU, uh, and doing a lot of operating. Uh, mixed in with that, we have a great early experience in cardiothoracic surgery. So within the first months, you're in the operating room with our attendings, getting experience on how to perform some of these aortic and valvular surgeries. Going into third year is when you become, a, you get a little bit more experience as being chief. The, the major focus of this program is to try to develop the next generation of academic surgeon scientists in this country. Dr. Wu and Dr. Fishbein have set forward a very uh, integrated vision that includes both research and clinical training, high volume operative surgery, and a wide breadth of clinical experience. Altogether, I think that that experience uh, provides us with the, the skills that we need to become that next generation of leaders. And I think there's no better place to do that than here at Stanford. So we uh, strongly encourage you to learn more about our department through our website, through our virtual clerkships, and when the uh, opportunities arise again, to come and visit us. Thank you very much. And that's the best thing you can possibly do, is to provide an opportunity for the other people to come by and to make their suggestions and their improvements. And then you see, we're learning too, because everybody, every resident that comes through the program will change things, maybe just a little bit. Sometimes it's not as good, but most of the time it's better. So we keep refining our methods all the time because of these bright young guys that are coming through and having a chance uh, to make these contributions.